Hi everyone, it's me Louis and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how you can install and set up Easy Shopee, a market sync tool for syncing your Shopee store with your Shopify store. So if you're interested to do just that with Easy Shopee, then stay tuned for this video. Okay, so before we get into the install and setup, I thought it might be useful for us to quickly look through some of the details of Easy Shopee before you install it. Okay, the first thing is the pricing. So this isn't a free app. If you decide to use this on your store, it's going to cost you US $5 a month. Um, at the current exchange rate, I think that's about 22, 23 ringgit a month. Um, of course, before you use it, you can always give it a trial run. Okay, it includes a seven day free trial. So you can test out the app before you actually decide to use it. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the features that it has. All right, so the first one is that you can publish sync and, and sync product images, descriptions, etc. from Shopify to Shopee. So if you create um, a product, in your Shopify store and you don't want to create the same product again in Shopee, you can just use Easy Shopee to sync these two together. Okay, And then make sure your products follow Shopee requirements before publishing. Um, I guess this is just a check that they um, this app would do. Published products will show up in Shopee in minutes, so just saying that it's very fast, the syncing works relatively quick. Keep shop Shopee stock title descriptions etc. the same as your Shopify products all the time okay I, I assume this means that if you change um, the title or any any of these information in your Shopify store then the Shopee listing will get updated automatically okay no action required from your end inside your Shopee store okay so this is relatively convenient if you're managing both a Shopee as well as a Shopify store then um, create Shopify orders when there are Shopee orders. So this would be quite useful when um, you only want to manage the fulfillment from one end. So if you have Shopee orders, you manage them inside Shopify and then the Shopify orders will also be managed in Shopify. Okay, so this is um, a much uh, more time-saving process than having to log into Shopee to process the orders each time. Of course, there are also drawbacks to this uh, method. Uh, we, we have to consider both uh, methods before you actually uh, go, go into it. Okay. Automatically fill in your Shopee, chosen Shopee logistics and Shopee categories when publishing. Okay, this is just details, etc. Okay, so these are just extra uh, details. Uh, so basically, this is um, a really simple product as well as order syncing app. It only does these two things but for a majority of um, sellers, these will be the two main crucial activities, operational activities that you want to sync between a Shopify as well as a Shopee store to save you time. Okay, so and then it goes uh, into some details about how to um, use this app. Okay, so some uh, basic stuff. All right, so now let's try to install and set up this app on a Shopify store. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to your store, then go to the apps, customize your store. Okay, so when you're in, look for Easy Shopee. Okay, there it is. Click on it. Then add app. So once we do this, then the um, trial will be activated. Okay, so click on install app. Alright, so there you go. So it actually, um, when we're in here, you can see it actually scales up based on the number of SKUs you have. So you, if you have about um, 500 SKUs that you're syncing to Shopee, then you pay $5 a month, but if you have five thousand, then it's nineteen dollars a month, etc. Okay, so you have to be aware. So it's not just um, five dollars actually. So it depends on the number of SKUs you have. All right. So now let's go ahead to 
set this up for Shopee. So as you can see here, there are a few um, items here in the menu. Add to Shopee, add to Lazada, Shopee Airway Bills, Shopee Preferences and Lazada Preferences. Since in this tutorial, we're only doing Shopee, so you only have to pay attention to the ones uh, for Shopee, which is Add to Shopee, Shopee Airway Bills, as well as Shopee Preferences, okay? Add to Shopee means you're adding the products um, that you have to Shopee. Okay, so let's start with this plan. All right, so when you come in here, um, you'll see that you need to start the free trial. Click on it. Okay, so the free trial started. So remember, um, if you're still testing it, um, to check after seven days to see if you know you, you still want this. If not, remember to cancel the subscription, okay? All right, so the first thing you wanna do is connect your Shopee account. So click on connect here. Okay, so you need to um, connect your Shopee account. Okay, Malaysia. PI platform. So you need to um, authorize Easy Shopee to use the API for your store. Okay. All right. So once you have connected your Shopee account, you'll see this uh, information prompt up here. Thank you for connecting your Shopee account. Okay. So go back. Okay. So. Now you can start syncing um, your whatever um, products that you want from Shopify to Shopee, okay? So before that, you can see here, right? <coughs> there is um, some, it's a prompt here to say that um, add this product to Shopee after fixing these issues. So title is too short, weights must be greater than zero. Okay, so let's do that now. Basic white t-shirt for men. Okay, so you need to make sure that um, all the details that are required for Shopee are already um, available in your Shopify store. Okay, so after editing your product, let's go back to the app and see if we can add it. Okay, now, now it's all good. We can add it to Shopee if we want to, but you can see here um, the default category seems a bit awkward. It's not a food. So you want to uh, make sure that the category is correct. Okay, so fashion. Um, okay, so there you go. T-shirts. Okay, so click on that. Add to Shopee. Okay, so it's while well, it's adding. So we want to come back here to the uh, Shopee store. Okay. Uh, To see if the uh, product has been added, okay. Login. Okay, so just go under my products. Okay, so there it is. It's currently being listed there. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, so as you can see, um, now it's added to the Shopee store. And then you can come here on your Shopee store to check. publish it okay so I'm not really sure if um, it will always be 
um, de- uh, synced as a delisted product so you can give it a try um, because when I check here it's active but yet it comes here as a delisted product maybe that gives you the opportunity to uh, recheck again or maybe it's on something to do with the settings let's take a look let's go back to the app okay so but uh, I mean the process seems relatively simple so uh, when you come here uh, to this page all the products will appear and then all you have to do is click on the products that you want to add to Shopee. I think you can also um, bulk add this as well. Okay, so maybe we can come to the Shopee preferences to see um, what settings are available here. Okay, current plan. Okay, that's just the uh, plan here. Okay, so here you can see probably this is something you want to adjust. Um, if there is a uh, default category that you're using, if you're selling mainly shirts, you may want to just, um, you know, assign the default category as shirts. Okay, so this way it will save you time from having to edit it one by one, like what I've done earlier. Then here, you can choose. Okay, anything that syncs from uh, Shopify, would it be uh, using standard delivery, post do and or JNT? Okay, so it's up to you. So I've selected standard delivery delivery here. Okay, and then. Um, when adding a product to Shopee, which price do you use? Okay, do you want to use a different price? A lower price maybe, compared to your Shopify? Okay. Um, use Shopify meta brand, meta fields to update brand. Okay, so the all something that you want to take a look at and see if it's something you want to uh, add. Okay. This is, this is a whole other topic that probably, if you're interested, I could cover as well, uh, but not right now, okay? Update these product attributes after the product is added to Shopee, okay? So, this is um, if you want to make sure that every whenever you change something on Shopify, it will automatically sync to Shopee as well, okay? So, you can check any one that applies and then click on update, okay? Okay, so the other section you want to check is Shopify stock to Shopee stock. When syncing sh stock to Shopee, force Shopee stock to zero when Shopify stock is slow. Okay, so here it says, okay, there's like set Shopee stock to zero when Shopify has three or less stock. So if this is something that you want to um, use in case, you know, your Shopify store tends to uh, sell, sell out faster than your Shopee store, maybe this is something you want to use okay so whenever the uh, stock in your shopify store goes under three then um the stock in your shopee store will go to zero okay all right uh, and then shopify shopee orders to shopify orders so this is when your shopee orders are pushed to shopify which um what are the settings that you want to apply here okay so maybe you want to select the warehouse okay if you do um, a different fulfillment uh, warehouse use a different fulfillment warehouse for your Shopee stock a store and your Shopify store then this is something you want to um, come in and adjust okay and then here are also some other uh, information that you want to um, just check out and see you know what what makes sense for you okay so when importing a Shopee order to Shopify include Shopee transaction fee Okay, so all of these um, really depends on how you're doing the accounting. Um, if you want to unify everything, make sure all the information from Shopee are synced into your Shopify store. Then uh, you want to check as many as apply. Okay. All right. So existing Shopee products, tools for manually linking or importing existing Shopify products. Okay. So if you have existing products you want to um, import, uh, then you can manually link this, okay? But that's not something uh, that we're doing today. Just one more thing, uh, Shopee Airway Bills. Okay, so this is still under testing, it seems like. So that, that, that is all that you, you, you need to set up. So add to Shopee, um, add your store to Shopee, and then try to add products to Shopee, and then um, the Shopee preferences, okay? Alright, so that is how you install and set up the Easy Shopee app. So if you found this 
quick tutorial useful, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about how to install and set up other marketplace sync apps, please do subscribe to this channel because I'm going to keep updating um, tutorials about Shopee Marketplace things in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for your time watching this video and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.